Hello, welcome to my channel. Yay! My name is Greta Hunty, and you're welcome to this channel. Um, I don't know, this might just be the very first video or vlog on my channel. If not, then it's um, this will be the official start of uh, me detailing immigration to Canada as a permanent resident. Now this journey started in 2018 and now we are in 2023. It has been a grace-filled, stress-filled, tears-filled, emotion-filled um, journey. However, I'm grateful that it's almost coming to an end. Today is the 6th of September. I actually had it in mind to start this um, vlog on the 1st of September, which was the day I went for my biometrics at the Lagos BFS Center. However, um, due to a um, situation beyond my control, something happened at work and I just didn't have the mind to just start this video. So, um, today being the day I submitted my passports, yes, I got the ready for visa email on the 5th yesterday of September, 5th of September, and today 6th of September, I went in person to submit my passport, which will take um, about four to six weeks before I get it back, and um, I just decided to start this video today. I'm going to be sharing from now, um, henceforth, um, the journey, my preparation towards my leaving. Thing is, um, I'm looking at leaving in November. I'm undecided yet because I'm thinking about how the weather will be like, or what the weather will be like in November um, and other things. However, it's just November now. I know nothing December. If not November, then it has to be next year. Um, welcome, your please. I um, plead with you to just join me as I share my story. I know that in future sit down vlogs, I'll be sharing what the journey was like, the things I had to do, and how and having to learn the French language and taking the French test three times and crying and crying and crying, crying, crying. just. Please stay with me, um, subscribe to my channel and um, like and um, share to if you have anyone that is on this journey and that uh, probably is experiencing what um, something I've experienced and I've shared, just share, share with the person and you're welcome. So going forward, I have two months until I leave my current um, place of work. I've already informed the organization that I'll be leaving uh, come um, October ending. And um, I'll just be sharing. I'll just be, I'll try to just vlog as much as I can. My preparation, everything, everything, everything. Thank you and welcome once again to Greater Enhances channel. Yay! Hello once again and welcome back to my channel. So I think um, this is like the fourth day um, since I started this vlog, um, this immigration countdown um, vlog. And um, I just wanted to log in this entry ever since I received my um, CPU array, that's my ready for visa email, and I had to go submit my passport. Have, I've been having old feet it's so funny that this journey that i started about four years ago that i prayed for that i cried for that i um had anxiety over and whatnot and now it has finally um come to reality and it's finally coming alive and i'm having cold feet i'm having anxiety i'm being anxious over it like the fear of the unknown what will it be like i'm living my comfort zone i'm leaving everything i've always known i'm leaving my family behind where do i start from how do i start putting things in place and work has been constraining me work has been strong on me like work has been really has really been tight so all of these things have has um all of these things have just been um weighing me down however what i just had to do was um, i just had to take it to god in prayer and he says, all our anxieties, all our cares, we should bring to the mercy seat, right? So I've just left it there and I said, okay, God, you that had brought this to pass, you would um, give me, you would direct me, and you would take away this worry and anxiety because it's no use worrying. It, 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 is, it must come to pass. Whether now, whether I leave this year or I wait till next year, everything must come to pass. So that's just it. I just wanted to quickly add this to this vlog. 
and also and i mentioned when i said the first blog that i'm waiting for my passport um there are different ways so i sent it through the lagos vfs office which is which was where i did my biometrics and it was free so i just walked in um i submitted it in person if i had submitted it to um kenya directly to kenya through dhl if you have taken about two weeks 10 working days two weeks max for it to come back but i would have had to pay hundred thousand naira, which i do not have because i'm looking for money so um rather i sent it through the lagos vfs i need to take about um four to six or maybe eight weeks i'm just praying that it doesn't get up to eight weeks i don't think it will well i still have the time i have about two months before i leave my job although i've dropped my resignation and um it's two months and some weeks before i finally um leave i'm gonna keep you guys posted and uh till my next entry it is bye bye for now hello welcome once again it's me again Greta. okay so i just wanted to put another entry in this vlog um of recent or lately i just find that it's kind of a bit uh, therapeutic for me um yeah i find it therapeutic just um telling my story or just um vlogging my story bit by bit as i'm experiencing things just talk about them it's kind of it's helping me especially during this preparation phase um how has it been today is the 20th day of september this is like how many days after my last post i can't remember now but um what i have been passing through is just like the last time i said fear anxiety but i just had to tell myself greater you need to calm down yesterday my sister sent me something just out of the blues and it really ministered to me and i had to tell her that okay this is for me she, she i think it read when i sent you did i when i sent you did i not go with you so she didn't know what it meant to me but it just spoke to me um, she, I, I don't know who asked her to send me that but it just spoke to me and it was like okay well you've been with me all of these years you've been with me through this journey and now i shouldn't think i can carry this thing by myself i should just have to go with you so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go with god on this one um i don't know i'm thinking probably i made a mistake with the submission of my passport i should have just closed my eyes and paid it a hundred thousand naira and sent my passport to kenya so that i get it back on time knowing that i want to use um i want iam to book my flight for me however with the way it's going i think i'll have to book my flight myself so you can imagine i plan leaving second week in september and it's almost uh, in november rather than it's september ending 20th of september and i've not booked my flight because the flights have been have been seen have been so expensive i've reached out to how many agents um the flights are a bit on the high side and i know that by the time my passport gets back and i reach out to irm it would be they might want to move my travel date and i don't think i want that i want to get there before winter winter i know winter would have um started but i want to get there before it even gets worse so that okay i don't know and that's another thing i've been so scared of um winter how is it going to be the cold getting a job accommodation has been another issue but what i've been trying to do is also network thankfully so far i have met people that have been giving me tips and um they've just been given they've really been of help so i i cannot say that god has not opened doors for me as regards meeting people so accommodation has been on me i'm just trying to i can get accommodation just sort that out and also i've also been trying to apply to jobs i've worked on my cv to um to the canadian standard i even had to get um a virtual mobile num a virtual number and add it to my cv so i'm also praying that god works on that i am um, in that aspect so that's how it has that's how it has been with me so far i just i don't know i just told myself just pick up your phone and put in this entry i don't know if i would include it by the time i'm, I'm doing the editing or whatever but i don't know let's see how it goes i just like talking about it now even if it's just a record on my phone i just like talking about it now and until i see you the next time i'm hoping that by the next time i pick up this phone to put in another um, vlog entry it will be that i have received them a counter for it there's information that my passport has been stamped or it will be when my passports 
really really truly arrives so fingers crossed it should be like just two weeks from now because it's two weeks today makes it two weeks since i submitted and i'm hoping another extra two weeks on it giving four weeks i don't want it to be more than four weeks so until the next time bye bye hello once again welcome back to my channel sorry this video is not so clear because there is no light there is no electricity and i think it has been on it has been like this for so many hours and um if you hear any background noise it's my neighbor's generator so anyways all of this will soon end yeah so i am back again today is the third of october and i just got back from work I actually thought i would get back much earlier than this time so i i i, I would have um sunshine enough sunshine to help me make this video however i went somewhere to get some things that i would just eat and take to relax myself i received my counter foil on the 26th of september i was going to make an entry but i was exhausted i went i went to church from work we had this program going on in church and by the time i got back there was light and everything but i was just so tired so guys sorry my phone um suddenly went off so i was saying that i decided to leave it because i was tired till i got my passport back and yay! um today as at uh, 5 30 this morning i got a notification that my passport was ready for collection and i i was going to work so i just quickly took some minutes um off to go pick up my passport and here it is so you can see that canada um, sign here so here is my passport and my confirmation of permanent residence so this i would be um submitting at the point of entry and getting it stamped so it's now so feeling um real and um it's real now i have not booked my flight and i wish to travel in november but all of this would change so from here henceforth i would be making um more videos more entries to um detail or to just record my um, preparation process going to get things and all of that i've already started giving out some of my things thank um thanks be to god when i before i even got ita i wanted to just um I wanted to just decongest my wardrobe and I, I gave out so many clothes and recently i gave out more and i still have lots 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 to give out so that is it that's how it is yes um i am now a confer okay i am i've gotten my confirmation of permanent residence um and i would be a confirmed permanent resident when i get to the point of entry and i get to stamp that paper i am so excited um uh, aside being as, as excited i am also i don't know how to place my feeling but i know that it's um, one of excitement um since i started this process with my learning french and all of that i've never really taken out time to just um enjoy the moment but today what i did was um i got i just decided to get whatsoever came to mind whatsoever i desired i just decided to get it so i i had hunger for shawarma i sent someone to i, I bought shawarma i sent someone to pick it up for me i had hunger for this and um, there's this nuts noodle chicken ready to eat chicken that um you just you just microwave and there you have it you can just start eating it even though i'm not a chicken person i got that and i actually wanted um i also wanted farm fresh i went to two supermarkets ebano didn't have and um another supermarket beside ebano didn't um did not have farm fresh so i will just make do with the zubo who made fresh zubo i have in my fridge i've been making so many things like I just want to enjoy the moment before i leave this country i've been making zobo i've been cooking the different different soups like anything i want i just cook it let me just eat it like um yesterday my friend who was not so well she stayed with me for some days she left i just want to have people over let them just come i i want to bask in the moment before i leave and go to start my life afresh over there so people this is my story i'm sorry for sorry for the lighting there is no electricity and i don't have a generator i refused to get a generator because i knew that i was preparing for this process i just wanted to save all the money i had as i went the need for a generator came up um so 
there you have it today is the 3rd of october i've already sent uh, my visa page and my passport to um iom i intend to use their flight service um i've sent everything they requested for today hopefully i hear back i get um back um feedback i get necessary feedback i want as soon as possible so that i know whether i'm going with them or i'll have to go get an agent that will book my flight for me so there you have it um i really cannot explain how i feel i really cannot explain how i feel but one thing i've been telling myself is that jire is more than enough jehovah jireh is more than enough like if he has seen me to this point despite all the hurdles i passed through he would see me um in my search for accommodation he would see me in my search for a job he will see me in my settlement over there so far god has been so so good i have been going through the um the free settlement course provided by um I, the ircc and i've been learning so much so much um god has been so good that's all i can say despite all god has been so good and so faithful so people there you have it it's dark already so that i don't continue with this kind of lighting i will be saying goodbye bye for now until some other time hello guys so this was the last entry for this very vlog here i was very sick you can just see my face my outlook and everything i was very sick here even um the following day i couldn't even go to work i had to write to take the day off i had um done so many um decluttering packing clearing and all of that guys packing decluttering and relocation is not an easy task it is mentally tasking emotionally tasking and um i just had to take this day um off this the day i did this video was on a sunday i had just come back from church and i was very sick while in church i almost passed out in church um in fact it wasn't an easy time for me before i made this video i just woken up from sleep and if i it i had it was i don't even know what to say but anyways this is the end of um this vlog and the next vlog you'll be seeing would be another period of preparation when i had to go to the market having to attend programs that i wanted to attend i know would be the um would be almost the, like the last um time i'll get to enjoy them in a long while and all of that so thank you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video i hope it wasn't too long for you and until the next video bye bye and thank you